My boyfriend was more of a dog person. Oh. He wanted to love Bean, but didn't know what he was doing. <laughs> yeah. Sabji didn't quite understand what went into taking care of a cat and acted sort of fearful of her. It was just sort of up in the air of like, I don't know how he's going to feel about eventually living with Bean. Bean or Santi, who are we going to choose? We noticed Bean would stare at the hair ties and then he would start flicking them and she would go nuts. I started bonding with Bean once I realized that I could play with her. I kind of treated her like a dog, and it worked. She would play fetch with hair ties. She would go chase it and then bring it back. We both make sure that we're always supervising her so that she's safe while she plays with them. And she continues to play fetch with balls. Bean loves belly scratches. I would take Bean for a walk. She loves smelling everything and rolling the dirt. When Bean showed comfort next to me, I felt accepted. We started playing together more. It was like a synergy. Things were definitely getting better. Yeah, Bean. Until Pinto came into our lives. Hey, sweet boy. The cat just walked straight up to the front door and started purring. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is meant to be. He didn't have a microchip. I posted him on boss cat groups and no one ever responded. And so he just became a part of the family. But my boyfriend was definitely not thrilled about it at first. We cannot have more on cat. We need a friend. You wanna hold him? No. <laughs> Did you wash him? No. I was good with one cat, I think two cats. All of a sudden, it's more responsibilities. Bean was not super excited about having a new brother. She was like her dad. Pinto loves his sister so much. Anywhere she's laying, he tries to lay beside her. I think they're typical brother-sister siblings where ultimately she's really happy. Thankfully, they are very good friends now. The time that he won me over was when I saw how curious he is. He started checking out every single room in the house, and I guess he fell in love with the toilet. Was he flush? Every time you flush a toilet, he comes up and looks down to the water as it swirls down and wants to understand what's going on. He's probably seen a toilet flush 500 times. And that still will look like it's his first time seeing water disappear. Half the time when we went to go to the bathroom, he was already in there. Hi, Bonnie. Good boy. Ever since then, I try to play with Pinto also. Loves anything that moves fast, and I was like, he's awesome. This is cool. At this point, Santi loves them just as much, if not more, than I do, and that's really sweet and really special. As soon as you get to know cats' personalities, they're not that different from dogs. You can love them, you can enjoy their company, you can play with them, and if you find those quirks, it's really fun to live with them.